what do you know? It really was as easy as booking a ticket after all. Well, almost. I only need to get some fuel rods to revive the submarine's reactors. How hard can it be? Don't the Russians have this stuff just sitting all over the place? In this case, though, there's only one man who actually knows where to look for it. But through sheer luck, I had already met him. Now, I just need to find the captain again. That should be about as easy as finding a needle in a haystack. Luckily, along with new weapons, Tom has provided me with a map detailing some of the captain's hideouts. Of course, there's no guarantee I'll meet the old man in any of them. But they are at least a place to start. Stuff is mine now. Stuff is mine now.
Too much TV is bad for your eyes. This looks interesting.
Let's put something educational on for a change. The twin cities of Vladivostok and San Diego share strong bonds of friendship and cooperation. As these cities are not only I'll be damned. San Diego. Their respective countries, but also major scientific, cultural, and political centers that have played major historical roles in the development of their region. Both cities are of great economic importance, not only for their countries, but also for the Pacific region as a whole. In our turbulent time, when the hydra of reactionary forces is once again raising its multiple heads, we must make every effort to further strengthen the cordial friendship between Vladivostok and San Diego. Okay, this I could definitely use. Sweet dreams. <sighs> sure would be nice to hit the sack with a fat, juicy hole, right? <laughs> Shit, I say. 
Hey, who the fuck is over there? Can't see shit. All right, time for a walk. There was some bitch sneaking about this place, definitely. Huh? <laughs> Fucking shit!
This I could definitely use. Отличная находка. Пригодится.
Неплохо. Хорошо. guys around <laughs> not bad
Nice. Save the Earth. Jammed. You again? <laughs> yes, me. Lance Corporal Samuel Taylor, U.S. Marine Corps. Well, thank you, Uncle Sam. Edward Baranoff, ex-captain. Glad to meet you, Ed. How did you end up in this mess? This is one of my ports. Usually the traps downstairs were enough. The Foglies here know well enough to stay away. Let's go before some more arrive. Stupid beasts. You kill a bunch, but they just keep coming. Let me move this, Sam. You got it? Come on! <sighs> oh, we did it. Ugh, I hurt all over. Which is a good sign. Means I'm alive. So, where was I? Ah, yes. Then the bandits from the cinema decided to throw a party for the local gang bosses. And think far enough ahead to chase a pack of Foglies away from the ruins next door for extra security. So the poor mutants arrived here and got sandwiched between the bandits and the other parks in the vicinity. The only way open for them was up. I could beat them, but that gem... You're welcome. I've been looking for you. Did you talk to Tom? Yeah. He suggests a deal. Yes, he's fond of those.
All right, my own personal savior, let's set sail. Come aboard. We have a long way to go. Tell me, Ed, what happened here during the war? Doesn't look like the city took any direct hits. So why is it in such a state? Yeah, there were no direct hits. The warheads fell into the sea, all in a neat little line. My sub didn't even shoot. All the targets were destroyed without our help. We called the base for orders, but there was no reply. The base was hit naturally, so we sailed here. That's where the HQ was. When we reached the city, we couldn't recognize it. It was even worse back then, of course. Just the smell alone. There were very few survivors, and frankly, we were surprised to find any. We picked them up from the roofs, organized somehow, and ended up settling in the dock. The place ended up pretty cozy. At least we had no problem with electricity, with the reactors running. And by the time they ran out of fuel, we had a floating power station ready. All this luxury ended up generating rumors. So the bandits started coming by to check us out. Finally, one day Tom arrived, with an offer of uniting our forces and setting up an effective defense perimeter. Mm, that bastard. Sniper, get down! <coughs> Did he get you? I'm fine. Keep your head down. Looks like we're safe. Did you see where he's shooting from? I'll handle the sniper. You the stay water. here. Are you sure? Go get him then. Skidica.
I'll kill the fucker, easy peasy. Just calm the fucker.
What's that noise? Well, I guess I have to cut down on that rules. out. <laughs> I'll have a smoke and go back to pretending to be busy.
Easy, easy, man. I give up. No, I, I see you are serious people going about your business. So I, I won't give you any trouble anymore. Ed, Sam here. Sniper neutralized. Great job, Sam. Get down to the gantry. I'll pick you up from there. Leg che loco go. Where did you learn those moves? Middle East, Afghanistan? Nope. Action movies. Yet, who were those guys? Ah, these are the bandits I told you about. They came to make a profit by robbing our settlement at the dock, but it didn't pan out. I must give credit when credit is due. That bastard Tom did bolster the defenses all right. These losers have long since stopped raiding. A few years back, they made one last attempt. Klim gave them a lesson. They were so terrified, they didn't even cut down bodies of their hanged pals all over the ruins. They couldn't raid and didn't have a place to go. So they turned to trapping. They catch mutants in the ruins. Those human-like ones. Their beasts are dumb and shrewd, but strong. Quite good for dragging carts or boats on the rivers, turning wheels and stuff. They don't eat much either, so using them lets you save a bunch of fuel. So the bandits catch them, train them a little, and then sail them off to traders. Those come from the south a couple of times a month. They pay in weapons, ammo, rice, all the things you need for a decent life in the wild. <laughs> they visit the settlement too, mostly buying restored generators, engines, and other machines. Our maintenance guys are real wizards after all. Oh, and dried fish too. So that's the region's economy in a nutshell. <laughs> Why did those trappers shoot at us? The whole city is divided between them. It took a lot of fighting to define those borders. So now they open fire at anyone approaching without proper insignia. Got it. Turf Wars, the primeval edition. <laughs> you got it. All right, we're here, Sam. Let's moor this thing and I'll show you my backup base. Cool. So, care to tell me the essence of Tom's offer? It's simple. He offers to leave you the settlement along with everyone who won't follow him. How generous. And what does he want? He wants you to deliver fuel rods for the submarine. <laughs> Come on in, sir. Don't worry, the lift's fine. My friends and I took our time preparing this base. There's a generator on the roof. 
The staircase is just an emergency exit. Too many foggies in the lower floors. So the lift's no luxury. Just have to keep that generator going. So, the guys didn't get caught back then, after all. Or if they did, they wouldn't talk. What guys? When Tom had shown his true colors, my closest friends and I decided to refuel this soul and take her to sea. The plan was strictly need to know. Only Alex, my XO, and Alex second, the torpedo officer, and Volodya, the life support guy were in. They left to recon the field and stayed in contact for two weeks. They found the fuel. And we arranged for me to pick them up in the night. But it was Klim's people who met me there. I barely escaped. Do you think they were captured? I don't know. But seeing Klim's people there was hardly a coincidence. Yeah. And we're there. Come on in, Sam. Make yourself at home, Sam. Take a rest. There's a storm outside anyway. 